Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here. We are rolling down into the last few signs for this Valentine's season. I wanna focus on what's going on with Venus and Pisces right now regarding what's happening for your Valentines, who's coming up, what's going on in your partnership. So that's the sign that's on deck tonight. Um, I also wanted to remind you to subscribe to the channel and also like and share. And also, for those of you who are new, I like to focus on the Venus in the zodiacs because it's all about abundance. A lot of people think abundance is just money, but it isn't. It really is quite vast. So you will find I may tap into your love, your relationships, your friendships, maybe even you traveling, luxury, shopping, anything like that. Um, your styles, how you deal with your mental health. So your self-care is very important. And of course, you know, your money, your career, what's happening with those finances. So get comfy. Let's see what's happening with Venus in Pisces. All right, let's start with a life card so that you know what you need to learn and understand right now, Venus in Pisces. What else does Pisces need to learn and understand? Okay, so Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Some of you feel like you're alienated right now. Some of you feel like you don't fit in. It's also a possibility of you just kind of like dealing with some new experiences in your life. I do feel like that's what it is. A lot of you dealing with some new stuff that's popping up right now. Things that you didn't expect to come your way. So that's number one. Number two, we've got the coldness card. So some of you are feeling a bit blocked when it comes to your love life or you, or some of you are actually burying those feelings. So why are you burying those feelings? Is it because of your situation? Do you not like where you are in your love life right now? Is it that it's more about what's going on in your own life? You feel like things are blocked. You feel like they can't move forward. So... Let's tap in and see what's happening. Let's go ahead and hit the singles, okay? What's going on with the singles? That's what I want to know. So I'm going to start with the messages of the heart. What's going on with the singles for Venus and Pisces, please? What do they need to learn and understand for their highest good? Venus and Pisces. Listen, this marriage card, just want to let you know. All right, some of you, you already met a twin flame in your life. Who's this person? You know, you've already met someone that is your twin flame. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the person that's going to be with you for the rest of your life because, you know, soulmates, twin flames, doesn't always mean that you're meant to be with this person in this lifetime. Sometimes they're just there to teach you a lesson. But um, I feel like some of you, you have your eye on someone. So what's happening? What's not? Why are you not moving forward? I feel like the a little bit might be you in not moving forward. Some of you, it could be them, but I get more of it. Yeah, I feel like more of it is you. You're stopping this union from happening. So why is that? Yeah, ooh, I love it. I love when I see the marriage card, okay? I'm a softie. So this marriage card talks about marriage material. Someone sees you as marriage material and they look at you and they see a strong foundation in you and in them together. So even if you're not dating anyone and you are by yourself getting back into the dating, just remember that what you're looking for is going to be rooted in marriage. So you want to look for someone who is set with the foundation and making sure that y'all are both on the same page. Now, if this isn't you, it just means that right now you're working on your own foundation, the, your own stuff that's going on with you. And you're trying to move ahead with, I feel like just becoming a better person. Like things are changing in you. I see that with a lot of you. So let's go ahead and get a um, couple of cards here. Actually, let's want to get one card from this deck. What else does Venus and Pisces need to learn and understand moving forward? There it is. Yeah. Okay. You either or talking to someone already, or you're going to meet someone soon. And this, there's going to be like some serious, strong chemistry between the two of you, okay? It's going to be really strong. Y'all are going to hit it off. I feel like some of you already met this person though. So let's see what's going to happen moving forward in this union. What's going on for Venus and Pisces with whoever this person is 
that sort of twin flame or that they have a strong chemistry. Two cards out. All right, you have, yeah, you need to follow that intuition and take action. Take action in this relationship because you got the magician card. So it's telling me that whoever this person is that's on your mind, I feel like some of you, are you in contact? Maybe you're not in contact. You're afraid to move forward. You need to be the one to take the action. You have the power in this situation. Let me just start with that. Okay, you have the power. So, and also you have the justice card, which is, listen, I feel like with you, if you don't, it's kind of like this. If you don't make the move, nothing's going to happen. If the two of you, if guess what? If you don't make the move and they don't make the move, nothing happens. So the justice card is about you trying to find some balance, okay? Find balance, especially even within your personalities in terms of like masculine and feminine energy, because some of you who are feminine may have very masculine energy. So try to balance that out and not be too strong, but still stand your ground, you know? You're, you're still that person that they see you as who they want to be with. It's just that y'all need to start making moves. Somebody needs to make a move. Please make a move. <laughs> so just this card here. So let's go ahead and see what else is happening for you. Um, like, you know what? Let's see if there's anything being hidden. I don't think so. But is there anything being hidden right now in this union for Venus and Pisces? Two cards came out. All right. So interesting. So there is someone who's here and they want to treat you better. And I wonder if this is someone that you knew before. I feel like with some of you, you've known this person or like maybe you've known them for a while and they, they didn't treat you the way you wanted to be treated or maybe it was you didn't treat them the way that they wanted to be treated. It could be either or. But also, they when they hear certain sounds, they think of you. So... A lot of what they, how they view you is done through music. So you got the, you speak to me through music. So just be aware of that, okay? All right, let's see what else, what will be the outcome for this union? Venus and Pisces, singles please, what's going on? Moving forward. All right, yeah, move ahead now, chariot. You make the moves. Make the moves. And if you're not dating and you want to get back out there and dating, make the moves. You got to move ahead. This is your time. I feel like those of you who just started back dating, you will make the right moves to find the right person. <clears throat> now, with my throat feeling a little bit weird, I know this has to do with you needing to use your voice. Your throat chakra is a bit closed off. So I feel like you need to open up your voice and say what it is that you want because... The chariot is here just basically telling you, yeah, make those moves, make the moves. And of course, we have the queen of cups here. So this is going to be a very loving relationship. And for those of you, like I said, who are not in relationships and you're starting to get back out there and dating, I feel like things are going to go in your favor. Like they're going to flow in the right direction and you are going to learn the lessons that you need to learn, but you're going to find the right person. So I get a good feeling for those of you over the next week or two, especially with like Valentine's Day. I think you just need to be a little bit more open with your heart in terms of love, okay? Because I feel like some of you get a little bit afraid of moving forward. So, okay, let's go ahead and get a few cards now for Venus in Pisces couples, please. What do they need to learn and understand? Let's get one more card for Venus in Pisces couples. So we have healing and telepathy. So what's happening right now is that some of you are going through a cycle of healing. I feel like it, there's been some pain in the past and you wanted to really tackle that and deal with it. So um, some of you are actually coming to grips with what happened in your past as well. And you're moving on from that. You found the peace within it. You've forgiven um, whether it was yourself or the other person, but you have forgiven and you're finding more of a balance in your life, which is beautiful because you're with someone where you all are very close. Like you all are on the same page. 
I, want, I don't want to say stuff like you finish each other's sentences or when one person is thinking one thing, the other person happens to be thinking it. But that happens with you a lot. Like a lot of coincidences is because y'all are really in touch with each other with the telepathy card. So just so you know, that's what's happening with you and your partner. But I love the fact that you're healing. This is a beautiful thing to see because people don't like to heal from past relationships. And we all have to go through that. So let's see what else Venus in Pisces Couples need to learn and understand regarding this healing and telepathy. Let's get one more card, please. Okay, so you got the lovers and the six of pentacles. So I feel like y'all are going to be reconnecting or like deepening your love, especially with the healing card and the way that you are with the telepathy. I do feel as though y'all have great sex, by the way. So I feel as though the romance is going to get stronger and I feel like... If it's not you, it's your partner. I feel like you're going to end up opening up your partner more sexually. Like they're going to be feeling a difference with the romance, with the feelings. Like they're, it's like you're going to tap into something that they didn't know was there, just so you know. So you got that here with the lovers. And also you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is beautiful. I love when I see the Ace of Pentacles. So it means that you're actually going to be manifesting a lot more. But not only just about manifesting in your life, but I also feel maybe that's also through the healing. Because you're going through the healing, I feel like you're going to tap into areas that you can manifest more or like tap into areas where you can deal with your emotions in a much more healthy manner. But I love this because I feel like you're going to be changing not only changing your partner and yourself, but I feel like you'll also be changing some of the people around you, like they're going to see the change in you with this Ace of Pentacles. And so they're going to look at you and it's like, you know, I don't want to say put you on a pedestal, but they definitely admire you, which is what's going to come out from what's happening right now with the healing. People are going to start really admiring you with the lover's card. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles. So let's see if there's anything being hidden from you in this relationship, Venus and Pisces. What they need to learn and understand, please. So someone in this relationship hides behind material things. I don't know if it's that they like to that they like to buy stuff they don't necessarily need. I don't know why I feel like alcohol comes up, but they're not necessarily an alcoholic. They just like to buy alcohol to make sure it's in the house. But sometimes I feel like there's a reason for that. That happens sometimes. Sometimes people just like to spend money. They just like to go out and buy like, you know, food or they like to go and buy like very expensive liquor or you know or watches or something like that but I feel like one or two of you like to go out and buy stuff and maybe you hide a little bit behind that and I don't know why like liquor came to my mind and, I'm, and like I said I'm not seeing the person being an alcoholic but I just see that they just sometimes spend money a little foolishly on things that they don't need so that's not really a big deal you know um let's get Two more cards now with what's going on with Venus and Pisces with this partnership moving forward. What's the end result? Let's get one more card, please. With you, you see you've got the Hermit card and the Healing card. With you, it's all about that peace within. So because you've been going through so much, you just spend so much time in your head. And I feel like things have changed with you. Just your perspective of everything with the Hermit card. So you got the, oh my God, listen, listen to me. You got the Ace of Pentacles twice. These are very interesting cards because you realize you got the Healing card twice. So the Healing and the Hermit are very similar. And then you also got the Ace of Pentacles twice. So I know this has a lot to do with like beautiful new beginnings, especially where your relationship is. And I don't feel as though like your relationship is starting from a new point. I just feel that because you've been together for a while, or some of you may have just gone in a relationship, I feel like it's gonna have like a very strong foundation, a very stable foundation, and y'all are gonna end, end up building like a beautiful love. So I do love these cards for the Venus in Pisces today. Both of you had, both singles and couples had beautiful cards, but just be careful not to feel alienated or feeling down about like what's going on in your life because a lot of you are more so going through a lot of new experiences, like I said, with the alien card. A lot of new experiences are happening for you and you want to focus on the love. 
because that's the main thing that's coming up here is this beautiful love with both singles and couples. I love this. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> okay, Venus and Pisces, this is all I have for you. Please don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm open for readings. $30 for 20 minutes, and of course, if you have any extra questions, I will do that for you. And I'm also doing Reiki, where I'm removing any dense energy from your body and bringing in a lot of positive energy to help you manifest what you need to manifest. So I'm charging $30 for 45 minutes. So please, please, please message me. Let me know what's going on. Keep me up to date, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.